What's going on, guys? I don't know if that's focusing or not. But um, this is BPI Sports 1MR Vortex pre-workout. I um, actually had a representative from BPI contact me and said, hey, listen, I uh, would really like your opinion on some of our products. So we're going to send you out some samples and uh, let us know what you think. Now, I already know BPI has reached out to a bunch of different people. Um, it's typical of any supplement company that starts sending out free samples. Um, that they want like, you know, basically almost like free marketing. So they, they sacrifice giving you some samples for this type of stuff. So um, just to start off, as you guys know, I'm not a big pre-workout guy. I'm just not. But since it was free, uh, <laughs> and I'm all about free when I can get it, if it makes sense, um, I figured I'd give this 1MR Vortex uh, a, a, a solid review or the best review I possibly can. Now, one thing I don't already like in BPI, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, you don't give your ingredient breakdown. You have proprietary blend. And with all honesty, I hate that. Um, here's the reason why. I can't tell how much of anything you put in here. Um, so already that's off to a bad start. Like I said, I give honest reviews. So just to go over some of the ingredients which I attached, you'll see like the, uh, the supplement label right at the beginning of this video. They have obviously caffeine. I kind of looked it up. So one scoop equals about two cups of coffee, so you're looking at about 190 milligrams of caffeine or so. Um, like I said, I'm not a big stimulant guy, so and then another honest thing, let me tell you how I take my pre-workout. I don't like chug it right before I work out. What I'll usually do is I'll sip it with some BCAs during the entire time, so I have more of a sustained release throughout the entire workout versus having me like a 30 or 40 minute spike and then crash. Since most of my, uh, most of my workouts are like an hour and 20, uh, hour and 20 or so in terms of lifting when I'm doing it, so let's go down the ingredient list. Um, they have glycerol, which is known for a pump. So basically the idea is, when, especially when you're doing upper body workouts and a lot of you guys are addicted to the pump. So glycerol is used uh, as a way of you know, increasing uh, plasma and stuff into the muscles so that we look big and swole, which everybody kind of loves, right? I already went over the caffeine part. We had white lead wart. Um, I look, listen, I tried to Google most of this stuff. I can't even tell you how hard it was to find some of these ingredients. Uh, white lead wort basically used as an anti-inflammatory and also uh, as a stimulant on your CNS. Uh, you have indigo ferra, also a stimulant. Uh, Secura, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Secura nega, also a stimulant. And then the last part is yohimbine, also acts as a stimulant to, to the CNS, which I, I've used yohimbine type products before. Um, and also, I guess, as, as a fat storing, uh, fat, not fat storing, fat, burning off your fat stores. So you're looking at somewhat of a fat burning um, type of ingredient. Um, Yohimbi I like, I've always liked it, especially when I'm getting ready for prep. Um, I, I use it very uh, towards the tail end of my prep when I'm getting ready close to stage, maybe like the last, I don't know, six to eight weeks or so, because it does help get that little bit extra fat off. Um, so the idea was to increase mental focus, increase muscle stamina, get you the pump, as well as a fat burning component. Um, I can't tell you how good or bad this is. The reason being is because they do the proprietary blend and do the fact that some of the ingredients in here, it was difficult to even find as to how effective they actually are. I tried using like examine.com. I tried Googling a couple things. Um, you know, I was able to come across some material on these uh, herbs that they're using, all about that herb. Um, it's very, very hard for me to tell you how effective most of these ingredients are. Now, um, the flavor was okay. Um, it does have a little bit of a tang to it. Yeah, the tang. Um, it is a little tangy. I'm not going to lie. And this is snow cone, so that kind of throws me off a little bit. Um, on top of that, I only use one scoop. I'm not a big two scoop guy because I don't feel like jacking myself in the morning of 380 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot at once. Um, and I don't feel like getting nauseous or lightheaded during my workouts. I already kind of do that on my own without stimulants because I do push, I push it pretty hard while I'm in there. Um, the, the stimulation was okay. Uh, the, the mental focus aspect they were talking about wasn't all that crazy. But what I do notice as this starts to wear off, I can already tell like right now, I don't know if you can kind of see, my hand's pretty steady, but I feel kind of jittery, which I really, really don't like. Um, it's probably because of like the Yohimbi and stuff like that. I've had this similar feeling when using a Yohimbi product, like a Yohimbi fat burner, or just Yohimbi straight up mixed with a fat burner. Um, the pump was okay, to be honest. It wasn't the best pump I've ever had in my life. 
Um, I do have other products. Uh, I have another product that I've used before, uh, which was uh, Core Nutritionals. Uh, I think it's called Core Pump. But that product was ridiculous, and I only used one scoop of that, and I had by far a better pump. The pump doesn't have the stimulus that this has in it because it's a, not a stim. Uh, in terms of other, in terms of other products that I recommend over this one, sorry, um, I do like Core Fury better because um, I don't get the crash and the jitters afterwards. I do like um, MTS's uh, uh, MTS's pre workout. I forget the name of it at this moment, which I've used before. And then uh, I also like C4 over the top of this, to be honest. Um, it was okay. Would I buy this? No. But then again, I wouldn't buy any pre-workout, to be honest. Uh, whenever I get free packets or stuff from bodybuilding expos and stuff, I'll use it here and there when needed. But I did give this several workouts that I put this through. I mean, I'm in the process of doing a very high volume block. So I figured if I'm going to use it, now would be the time to use it. Um, for me, on like a leg day, I would never use this because I would get nauseous and feel like garbage the entire time so I wouldn't touch it but I wouldn't touch any pre-workout during a leg day um, I would just grind through it and deal with the pain as usual uh, I hope this review is worth it guys and uh, I'll talk to you soon